about your life, your achievements in your life. Okay, actually, I, I would like to say it is uh, my indeed uh, pleasure and honor to uh, come to Dubai uh, 10 years so far, and then miracle happened because uh, I did uh, most of my uh, miracle achievement in Dubai, so which is uh, quite matching with the Sheikh Muhammad vision. Nothing impossible, everything can be possible in Dubai, so always be number one. So the first achievement which I did is uh, I was selected by Jackie Chan in his Kung Fu Yoga movie. And uh, the second achievement which I did is in 2018. And uh, during this uh, poem, the fourth edition poem competition, Chinese poem competition, and there are uh, uh, 650,000 Chinese competitor. So all over the world from uh, 85 regions. Then, you know, I competed all of them. I challenged all of them. And um, I got number one in, in the final uh, competition, final stage in our China capital, Beijing. So this is the second achievement. Number three achievement is 2018. I will never forget. In November, I got uh, 2018 Miss Asia. In, uh, in UAE district. Otherwise, I could get a champion in home Asia in China, but because my head, I'm only 165. But which means proves, you know, the, there's always possibility. So never give up. Who knows what happened next, right? So this the the actually there's so many achievements also in my business career. Let's see. I was first Chinese work with MR. I was first Chinese work with Nahil Palm Jumeirah. So I served the more than I think um, uh, MR Nahil uh, Mag Sports City Shabruti Palonji, your Indian biggest construction group. I served them to be in the China market. Uh, uh, business advisor to help them uh, how to access China market, how to do business with Chinese investors. So this is also one of my achievements in the real estate field. So you can call me entrepreneurs as well. And also for influencer side, uh, I'm surprised maybe because I have a China government position. Actually, this is also another achievement. I was nominated by our Chinese uh, Henan Province Chamber of Commons as a vice chairman. And this certificate was given by our China consulate in UAE. So due to this government position, that's why I'm trying hard to bring on the Chinese uh, businessmen, entrepreneurs, and I'm receiving government dele delegations, government officials come to Dubai. So try to build this uh, corridor between China and the UAE. So which makes a dragon shaking hands with a falcon. So this is my big dream. You know, sometimes our dream, our achievement is for personal. But my achievement, I want to do more beyond for a country, for two countries. Friendship. Amazing, amazing, yes. excellent work. I am really impressed by your all the achievements. Yeah, age is young. <laughs> yes, yes, that's what I am thinking. Uh, okay, tell me one more thing. Like, uh, oh, what do you love to be? I must mention. I must mention one thing. I became the first Chinese in U uh, in Chinese community in UAE. My photo, 2018 Miss photo, uh, Miss Asia photo. Uh, uh, approved by Dubai Mall. So now if you passing by Dubai Mall, you will see I became the Cronet. Uh, this diamond brand, Cronet, they are 30, more than 37 years diamond brand. They break 10 uh, Guinness World Award for diamonds. Amazing. Yeah, so then they select me. So what I wear is from Cronet. Yeah, so now everyone, when you passing by Dubai Mall, you can see Cronet, they put my photo with the scepter. This scepter is the also breaking the World Guinness Award record. So this is also big, big improvement, big improvement and achievement. You know? Amazing! I have yeah. already seen that you are giving the sixty percent off to your followers on the same on the same thing, and yeah. that's really appreciated for you, for yeah. you and for your followers. That's yeah. amazing. Okay, my next question will be to you: like, uh, what you love to be a host, a influencer, and uh, entrepreneur? or uh, MC as you are right now? Okay, actually, these years, you know, I always asking myself, we cannot limit ourselves in one field. 
I know some people said we need to focus on one way. Yes, but sometimes if you didn't dig, dig your talent, you don't know how much far you can go far, go more far, go beyond. So then. I I decided never it's never too old to learn. So this you see, I learned the real estate knowledge. I go to Dubai Land Department, pass an exam, 100 score. I got 96. I remember, only five days I study, then I go. And I'm a Chinese, but this this book is English. And for the for the presenter field, actually no one believed I was a very shy girl. I always feel shy to talk louder in public. Ah, okay. Yeah, but I changed it myself. You know, so we we need to always be confident, always believe all the miracle can happen. So never limit yourself in the one role. You need to try to see this colorful world. And also I died I died in car accidents before. Here is a big hole. Yes, I know. If I if one day, you know, I read my big biography I know my biography can be legend because uh, only when you experience the death, you will know each minute, each second is valuable. So trying to maximize your talent, to learn so many, so many, uh, to have so many talents, then you will see you you maybe can have so many roles in your life. Like me, I'm in Chinese communities, they comment me. I'm a Number one golden TV host. I got this award from Nahil developer. And also, you know, they give me like uh, the best actress because I did a movie with Jackie Chan in Kung Fu Yoga. Also, they told me I could be a super influencer because uh, my TikTok have uh, 620,000 Chinese influencer. Each brand, when I say it's good, they will follow me. And also, I never think I could be the best uh, Chinese government officials, but when I'm receiving the government delegation, I'm in my serious position. So, girls, women, uh, all, uh, all the people around the world, I encourage yourself, I encourage everyone, so please always challenge yourself. When a giant awaken, then you will understand how much legend and victory you can make it. This is why Sheikh Muhammad said three V, 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 vision, victory, and what is another V? <laughs> and born. Yes. Okay, this is what's my opinion. Amazing meeting with the legend. And uh, I have one last question to you. How you help your community to expand in this market? Like how, like we have a China mall in Dubai. We have China mall in Ajman as well. And uh, how you feel like in future, we are planning to do this type of uh, uh, networking events? in other Emirates as well or how the business of Chinese will expand in this market? Okay, actually, you know, uh, during each Chinese festival, there are always some big events will happen. So actually, this is a good way to access, right? So even you see, uh, the 1st of January is Chinese New Year coming. So this is why today, you see, today the event is organized by me, the, and the 50% done by my business partner from Russian, uh, Shumo Digital. So, you know, we decided together to bring on a like, multi-nationality mix culture together. This is also one way to let all the nationalities meet each other, meet up in Dubai. So this is the way to expand our Chinese culture. To, uh, you know, due to this kind of uh, event, you know, they can chat, in, they can chit chat, they can discuss business. For sure, after this event, business will happen. This, so I'm not saying only by events, even some government official meetings, or even sometimes, uh, let's say, we bring UAE delegation to China, not UAE, maybe some other country. As I said, we never limited ourselves. As long as there's good opportunities for both countries, there's shoulder, uh, there's responsibility, high risk resp responsibility on my shoulder. I love my country, I love the world. So I'm ready to catch on the opportunity, on the ways to access our, um, how to say, to expand our Chinese culture and business to multinationalities. You know, there's so many ways.
we know this friendship of UAE and China it's always lovable and to having you in Dubai and to meeting you in Dubai is an amazing chance and it is really inspiring story like to know your all achievements and to know you like never ever limitize yourself and yes. that's a very good message to you from your for your followers or to everyone who wants to do something and, here uh, so thank you so much for also, your time i love you so much the last secret i want to share with you actually i keep it in my heart because I decided when I write a biography, I will write it. But today I see your eyes get moved. But if I tell you another secret, I think she will cry because uh, you see today I'm Miss Asia. But uh, without any surgery, everything's natural. But do you know, I'm the girl, I'm a very fat girl, more than 140. I know you, I know you, yeah, you, you will not believe. Really? Yes, I'm a very fat girl. This is the last secret I share with you. I hope all the fat girl believe yourself. Fat girl always have a beautiful spring. Because uh, I used to get laughing at by school students. Okay. If I say that, I almost cried. Really? No. Yeah, you know, because... Uh, yes, I was like, uh, so many school students screw me a lot because I'm a fat girl. They were laughing at me. My leg is like an elephant's leg. <laughs> so, really, in this road, I was struggling. I was challenging myself. I even applied for dancing class. Can you imagine a little fat girl every day thinking about so many ways to reduce their weight? But, so I, I wish I'm a good example for all the girls who is have a headache for your weight. And also when your school students laughing at you, I wish you guys be confident and uh, never mind. Don't, don't, give a, uh, don't give a care. You need to believe yourself. You can be also the swan, beautiful swan. This is how today I am. When I mention my childhood story, it's really a, a bit miserable. <laughs> but at least I'm opting mistake. I made myself today. You are. You are today. I'm really proud of you. Like literally the way you have done a lot of achievements in your life. That's really inspiring. And I can't believe you are 140. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I have my small. I have my very ugly. <laughs> no, you are so pretty, Mashallah. And know. for sure. I never know when. when uh, I never, I never imagine when Miss Asia crown on my head. That moment, I realized this fat girl achieved more than herself. <laughs>